Uh, hello everybody, uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the MLX Nano 640. Uh, as you can see on the uh, screen, the MLX Nano 640 is basically uh, a small, uh, low resolution, low cost thermal camera. Right? Uh, the way uh, we can achieve this, normally classical thermal cameras, they actually use uh, microbolometer technology, which allows to make very small pixels, but it's also very expensive at the same time. So what actually we did, we used lower cost thermal power technology and we made the pixels smaller. So at first sight this is a bad idea because you reduce the signal to noise ratio from the pixels. But the Malaxis engineers they figured out a way how to cope with this. So actually our interface electronics enables anyway to make a very uh, nice state of the art thermal camera uh, using uh, thermal pi technology. And this is what you see here. So it's 32 by 24 uh, pixels. And as you can also see here, there are people walking by. So it's actually an excellent people detector. So if you put this in a building, you can count people, you can track the people. Uh, at the same time, uh, you measure temperature, of course, so you can uh, tune the HVAC, um, tune the, uh, the air conditioning, tune the, the heating. And at the same time, uh, if nobody is in the room, you can switch off that heating, you can switch off the lighting. So this way, it's also a great uh, energy saver. Uh, this product is also intended for automotive applications, where it can be used in the cabin uh, also to measure the temperature and this way make uh, an, an, an HVAC system which increases the comfort uh, which can also uh, detect the people so it's also an occupancy detector uh, which you could then use uh, for example uh, to decide if the airbag should deploy uh, that kind of thing uh, if the seat belt uh, should be worn by the, the people and finally uh, it works over a very broad temperature range up to 300 degrees centigrade so it could also be used to uh, prevent fire for example, in an industrial application where you have an electrical switch cabinet or power plant, we actually have a low-cost thermal camera now which can detect hotspots uh, before they can actually turn into a fire.